Hello, Alva. How are you today? I, I am fine, thanks. And you? I am great today. Thank you for asking. So, uh, well, we are going to start in a moment. Just let's wait for your, we are going to wait for your classmates. How was your day? What did you do today? A lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things. So, well, did you did you go to work today? Uh, no. No. Okay. So that's that's no. that's so nice. I don't. Uh, I don't have work. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I I I I thought you work. So what what do you do during the day? Mm. You clean the house, yes. <laughs> so many activities. I clean my house, I do the laundry, and, and I cook, okay. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. And I, um, I help my daughter with, your, with her homework. Oh, so how old is your daughter? Miss six years old. Six years old. Okay, so okay, so she's she's uh, she's little. So very good. Well, thank you for uh for sharing. Well, well, hello, Rebecca. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good night. I'm okay. Okay. Uh, that's... Cleaning a little bit my room. <laughs> oh, really? So you were cleaning your room, and well, yes. what time? What time did you start cleaning? Uh, maybe eight. Yeah. Eight. Oh, okay. So it it didn't it didn't take it didn't take too much too much time, but it's okay. So very good. I think Welcome. I think I I take a lot of time. <laughs> really? Is is your your bedroom big or small? It's small, but I distract. <laughs> so you get distracted. Yes, yes. Uh, that's right. <laughs> it happened when when I I cannot clean my house because I always I I always uh, start doing other things at the same moment. So that's why I can't do it, but I have to. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for being here, Alba, Rebecca, and Yesenia. Hello, Yesenia. How are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. You. Good night. I am fine. Thank you for asking. So good night. Okay. Uh, well, we are going to start with our class. And well, I text your classmates because we are only three people today, but we have to start with our activities. Well, to start today, I want to ask you something important. Well, let's see. Uh, Rebecca, do you like cartoons? Yes, I'm, I'm crazy about car cartoons. Really? Okay, so what are your favorite cartoons? But the 90s. Oh, the 90s the cartoons. 90s. So this, for well, example, most of, most of these are 90s cartoons. Uh huh. Yes, I remember Rugrats, a eh, eh, Bob Esponja. <laughs> okay. Mm, Cat Dog. Hey Arnold, and Dexter. Okay. And the Rocket Power, Rocket Powers, yes. Yes. Rocket By Nickelodeon. Well. Oh yeah. All so, of them. Okay, so yes, there were a lot of cartoons in Nickelodeon. So, in the in the past, right? Do you do you still watch cartoons, Rebecca? Yes, sometimes I oh. follow a page in facebook uh -huh. the name is uh, nostalgia ah uh, yeah they share uh, the 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 uh, capitals oh the chapters yes that's right oh, okay the <laughs> sometimes chapters. they uh, share other other 
TV shows, for example, Dragi Yosh, uh -huh. is so it's into 101. Uh -huh. <laughs> and all of them. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty good. And tell me, what's your favorite one? So you like all of these, but what is your favorite cartoon? Maybe Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold, okay, yes. yes, that was a great cartoon. So I really love it, okay? But thank you for sharing, Rebecca. So let's continue right now. Let's see, uh, Yesenia, do you like cartoons? Yes, I like. Um, okay. Well, when I was... Uh, most young. Oh, when you were younger. Ah, okay. Uh, so tell me, what is your favorite cartoon? Uh, it was Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. Okay, yes, that's another great cartoon. And where did you, okay, do you watch Scooby-Doo in present, in the present? No, I don't. So only in the past? Yes. Where did you watch it? Where did you watch Scooby-Doo? In what channel? In, in Cartoon Network. Oh, yes, Cartoon Network. So that's pretty good. Okay. Thank you, Yesenia, Yesenia for yeah. sharing. So, yes? No, I, I... And then I see more anime. Oh, now? But now do you see anime? Mm, no, right now, no. Okay. But and, before, yes. Oh, and what was your favorite anime? Or what is your favorite anime? Mm, I, I, I like uh, Inuyasha, for example. Okay. Okay, that's a good one. So it's on, it, that one is on next. <laughs> Very good. So thank you, Yesenia, for sharing. Now, Alba Castillo, what, well, do you like cartoons? Yes, teacher. Okay, what is your favorite cartoon? The Pink Panther. The Pink Panther? Yes. Oh, okay, that's, a, that's another good cartoon. Do you watch the Pink Panther in present? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. And tell me, do you watch cartoons with your daughter? Yes. What are her favorite cartoons? Uh, Fancy Nancy Clancy. What's the name? Fancy Nancy Clancy. Okay. So that's a new cartoon for me. So what, well, in your, in your opinion, what do you prefer? Now, nowadays cartoons or past or, or cartoons that we watch in the past? A cartoon in the past. Yeah, so they were better. <laughs> now you have Paw Patrol, <laughs> Princess Sophia, and, and well, the, I, I don't I, I don't like too much those kind of cartoons. But well, you, you have to watch because of your daughter. You have to, but it's okay. Very good. Let's see, Omar. Do you like cartoons? Hello, boy. Hello, teacher. Yes. Yes, I, li I like it. Oh, really? And what's your favorite cartoon? My favorite cartoon, Billy and Mandy of Cartoon Network and uh -huh. Courage the Cowardly Duck. Oh, yes. It's, it's an interesting cartoon because has a... Uh, I don't know, rare things, stranger things, yeah. Yes, that's right. This kind, this cartoon, well, it's for kids, but some um, some characters of, of the cartoon are not for kids, so they look a little bit yeah. strange. So, well, do you watch Coward, uh, Cowardly, the Courage Dog? Sorry. Yeah, uh -huh. in, in occasions with my girlfriend, we we watch this cartoon on HBO. Oh, okay. So that's yeah. pretty nice. Okay. So yes, those are good car. Those are great cartoons. So also pretty... also 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 K K N D. 
los chicos del barrio. I, oh, I don't yes. know. I don't, I don't know. Yes. Name. Kid, yeah. Kids next door. Okay, and D. Kids yes. Next ki, door. Ki, kid next door. The, this cartoon is is it's not nice. Is it's most it's most it's not nice. Is is I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 most de los dos mil. Oh, so yeah. from 2000 and on. Yeah, 2000, yeah. Oh, yeah, so that's right. But it's a good cartoon. So yeah. do you uh, do, do you see cartoons? But I mean, not nowadays cartoons, Omar? For nowadays example, Patrol? Is, mm, no, no, no. So with, with my girlfriend watching anime, yeah. Ah, and what what anime do you watch? We watch this anime is is this one hundred one one no is let me see the name is Evangelion so oh the year okay. is. Is 1995. <laughs> oh, 1995. 1995, yeah. Okay, so, well, I remember I listened about Evangelion, but I never watched it, okay? I'm, so, yeah. I'm sorry, okay? So I don't know too much about it, but well done. Okay, Omar, so thank you for sharing. So do you watch uh, anime right nowadays? But, well, in the past, we have this kind of cartoons. Let's yeah. see, Alma Marroquin, do you like cartoons? Hello, Alma. Oh, I don't know why. I can't hear you. So let's check your microphone, okay? And we will participate in our activity. So as you can see, we are talking about cartoons, hello. maybe cartoons. Ah, hello, Alma. I can't, I can hear you now. So do you like cartoons? I don't like the... <gasps> Really? You don't like cartoons? I never like them. Really? And what, what? And when you were a kid, what did you watch? Mm. Or oh, you didn't watch TV? Uh, Captain? No. Oh, repeat again. So when you were a kid, did you watch did you watch never. cartoons? Never. So what never. did you what did you watch? So popras. No. <laughs> what did you watch? Or you didn't watch TV at all? Mm. I never TV. You never watch TV? Okay. So well, and what you prefer playing? Yes. Ah, okay. So yes, I got it. Okay. So when we are kids, so it's, we have two options or we watch TV or we play a lot, but, or we can do both. Okay. As I did. So very good guys. As you see, we were talking about cartoons that we like and that we watched when we were kids. And nowadays we can also watch them, but let's see. Today we will talk about a uh, an important topic, and we will talk about simple past. Remember, we are talking about the activities that we did in the past. So let's talk about memories, about things that finish in past. So right now, let's start with our example. And let's see our example and also our structure. Uh, hello, Edgardo, help me with example number one. Hello, good evening. Sorry for the late. Uh, oh, don't worry. Uh, yes, yes, this example, uh, I watched the Hunger Games. I watched the Hunger Games yesterday. Very good. Now the structure. A structure, subject plus verb in past plus complement. Thank you. As you see, 
we have, uh, well, we have this structure and we have specific parts. This is similar to simple, well, the structure is similar to simple present. What's the difference? That we are not talking about activities that we do, but we talk about activities that we did. For example, I watched, oops, I watched the Hunger Games yesterday. The Hunger, the Hunger Games yesterday. So as you see, we have three parts in our sentences. Subject, verb in past, and complement. So let's check the use of simple present. So please help me, Alba Castillo. What is sim simple past for? What is simple past for? We use simple past to talk about finished action in past. Very good. We are talking about something that finished in past or an action that finished in past. So, I watched the Hunger Games yesterday, not today. Today I watch, I don't know, Soy Luna, for example. But yesterday I watched the Hunger Games. So that's an, a, a yesterday activity. Now, let's see, as we have in the timeline, as you can see in the timeline, we are talking about past, not present, not future, past. Okay, remember, this is our structure in affirmative form. Subject, verb in past, and complement. Let's move on right now to our structure in negative. So in negative, we have this example. Please right now, let's pay attention to Rebecca. Rebecca, please read these examples. Uh, just the, just the example. Oh, structure and example. Yes. Okay. Uh, the structure is subject plus didn't or did not plus bear in base form plus complement. The example is we didn't make dinner last night. Okay. And. Thank you. Okay. Continue. Continue. And just remember that in negative, negative sentences, the verb should be in base form. Thank you, that was great. As you can see, okay, we are talking about negative sentences in simple past, but we are, we are, not, using, we are not using a verb in past, we are using make. So why, why don't we use a verb in past? So let's see, tell me, Omar, what do you think? Why we don't use a verb in past? When is, when is a negative. Okay, very good. So, but why? Why we don't use the verb in past? So it is interesting, guys, because we have didn't, but the verb is in present. We can say in present, not in base form. So when we use the auxiliar, when we use the auxiliar in past, we don't need to use a verb in present, okay? When the auxiliar is in past, sorry, when the, when the auxiliar is in past, we don't need a verb in past. So we use verbs in present or in base form. So if I have did or didn't in the sentence, I don't use a verb in past. I use the verbs in base form. So right now, let's see. What happened if I have this sentence? I didn't, oops, I didn't eat pizza last night. What do you think, Omar? Is that sentence correct? Yes, because we, you use 
the auxiliary didn't. Oh, but is that correct? I didn't eat? No, no, no. The verb is 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 incorrect. Yeah, oh, so this this verb is uh are is tricky because the the base form is, is eat and the uh -huh. pass is eight. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's kind of confusing, right? But remember, okay, we yeah. use did or didn't, in this case didn't, and we use a verb in present or in base form. Okay, now, now that we check the structure, remember, we use did, not, or didn't. Let's continue and pay attention to our uh, just no questions, okay? Let's see, what is the structure and the example, uh, Yesenia? Uh, did plus subject plus Verb in base form plus complement and question mark. Simple pass interrogative form. Now the example. Did did he did he travel to Japan last vacation? Very good. Did he travel to Japan last vacation? Remember, since these are just no questions, so we answer. Yes or no, okay? So yes, he did, or no, he didn't. But now, Jesenia, I have a question for you. Why do we use the verb in base form, travel, and not in past? Why? For the auxiliary did is in past. Excellent. So the auxiliary did is in past. So we don't need to use verb in past. We only use verbs in base form because of did or didn't. Okay. So very good. We are doing a great job. And this is an example uh, about a question. Now let's move on to the next form of the questions. Remember, we have affirmative, negative, Yes, no questions. And now let's check WH questions. Please, Omar, read the, the, the structure and read the example. Okay. Simple past WA questions. WA question plus did plus subject plus verb in base form plus complement. And the example is when did he got home? Very good. Omar, is the verb in present or in past? It is in present. Very good. And the question, well, the verb is in present, but remember the question in past because of the, okay, always because of the. So as you see, we have, uh, we have these structures to talk about past, but remember, we use the verbs in past only in affirmative examples, okay? Let's move on. In this moment, we have to continue working and checking some time expression in, for simple past. So let's read, uh, let's read this vocabulary, please. Henry, read the vocabulary, the time expressions. Okay. Um, good night. Okay. Day before yesterday. Time expression for simple past. The day before yesterday. Yesterday, today. Um, three last week. Month. Three last month, three last year, and last Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. Two days ago, two weeks ago, two months ago, and two years ago. Very good. So we are using right now time expressions for simple past. I have a question. Is it possible to use today for past? I think no. 
we use because oh today is for me is the ending the day so it's a, a tricky maybe yes okay remember that today we are talking about the present so maybe it's not very common to use today for simple past maybe we can use five minutes ago so remember uh for example five minutes ago or 15 minutes ago we were talking about cartoons so we can say uh we talk about cartoons we talked about cartoons cartoons 15 i i don't know but i guess uh, it's 15 minutes ago so we talked about cartoons 15 minutes ago did the activity happen today alma marroquin did the activity happen today i work oh i mean this activity we talk about cartoons 15 minutes ago did that activity happen today um i don't oh i mean do we talk about cartoons today yes or no in the class no, no. we didn't talk about cartoons oh yes ah yeah. yes okay so it happened today but it was in the past because it was 15 minutes ago even if an activity passed or happened one minute ago is past so remember all the activities that finished uh, in the past so we can use well we can use obviously simple past and as you see we have different time expressions that we can use to talk about it okay so remember uh, remember these time expressions to talk about it but now Let's focus on another important thing about simple past and are the verb rules. Remember, we have in simple past, we have regular and irregular verbs. So right now we will check some of these rules. Let's see. Let's pay attention to let's see, Edgardo. Edgardo, help me right now with rule number one. Okay, rule number one. Okay. Uh, rule number one. With the amount of the verbs who have been right, right. right. work worked clean clean. Very good, thank you. So pay attention to the verbs. We add two letters. E D. On number one, most of the verbs, not all the verbs, not all the verbs, most of the verbs. For most of the verbs, sorry, regular verbs, for most of the regular verbs, we add e -D, as we can see in the example. But this is only one rule. Let's check the next one. Alba Castillo, what is number two? For regular verbs, that ends in e in the letter D. Example, like, like, face, face. Okay, very good. So, as you see, in number one, we add two letters. In number two, we only add one letter, letter D. So, the thing is that they have as, well, since they are regular verbs, they finished with letter ED. And that's it, right? Let's pay attention to our next rules. In this moment, let's move on to rule three. Please, um, help me with the next rule. Yesenia, number three. If a bear ends in in a what in a if a bear ends in a why you change it. To N A and then add E D. Ah, very good. Oh, hear me with examples now. I'm sorry. Examples hurry, hurry, study, study, cry, cry. 
Okay, thank you. As you see, they, uh, they, these verbs, okay, these verbs finish with a letter Y. So what do we have to do? We eliminate letter Y and or we change letter Y for a letter I. As you see, we have letter I, letter I, and letter I. And then we add ED. Okay, so that's rule number three. Let me see, rule number three. I would write IED. Okay, so for some verbs. Now let's see the last rule, number four. Please, Alma, help me with example four. If a regular verb ends with one vowel and one consonant, doble the last consonant, then end ed. Very good. Now the examples. Exa example. Wrap, wrap it, stop, stop it. Okay, thank you. As you see, okay, we have. Uh, we have the characteristic of these verbs. So since they are one vowel and one consonant, okay? So we double the last consonant. What is the last consonant in the first verb, Omar? What is the last consonant? It's a P. It's a letter P. So we double the letter P and then we add ED. ED. Now. Now, very good. The next verb is the same. So we have a letter P, we double the letter P and we add ED. So as you see, these are the regular verbs rules for simple past. So there you go on the chat, you have the rules for you to remember and practice. But there are some other important things that we need to remember about simple past. And it is the pronunciation. So as you see, all these verbs finish in what? What is the what are the last letters of these verbs? What do you think? Let's see, Henry, what are the last letters of these verbs? The last letters. Yes, the last letters of these verbs, mm -hmm. of the regular verbs. Okay. Okay. Um, for the verb call, the last letter is a uh, consonant. Oh, yes, but uh, what oh, are uh, the letters? The last two letters in past. Ah, okay. It's ED. Ah, thank you, Omar. So, Henry, what are the two letters? The last two letters? Uh huh. E D. Ah, E D. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Omar. Thank you, Henry. Okay. All the regular verbs finish with E D. But the pronunciation is different for most of the verbs. Okay. So, there are three simple sounds. Okay, there are three simple sounds. Well, we will start with this one. So, uh, give me a second. We will start with this one. So the pronunciation, the final sound is a letter V. So we don't say call it, call it. No guys, not call it, come on. So we say cold, cold. Then we don't say clean it, clean it. No, guys, we don't say clean it. We say cleaned, cleaned. Okay, so remember the pronunciation is letter V. For what For what letters? Tell me please right now, uh, Alba Castillo. What letters are pronounced as a letter D? L and R, G. Uh, B, S, E, P, M. Very good. So as you can see, we have L, N, R, G, B. Remember that the final sound is a letter B, not the writing. 
but the final sound, love, b, 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 love. So we pronounce loved, the letter V at the end. Then we have letter S, use, use. And then we have amazed, amazed. So the final sound that we listen, okay, that's, that's the thing that we take into account. So if you listen to these letters, so we pronounce a letter D. Let's make let's make a practice, okay? Let's see, please, Omar, tell me what is the pronunciation of this verb in past? Offered. Very good. So letter D, offered, offered. Very good. Thank you, Omar. That was a great practice. Now let's see. Our next person is going to be Rebecca. Rebecca, what is the pronunciation of this verb in past? The offer. Oh, next one. Oh, or loved. Loved. Very good. Good pronunciation. Thank you. Now, Alma Castillo. No, Alma Marroquin. I'm sorry. Tell me, what is the pronunciation of this verb? Use it. You said? Used. Ah, very good. Used. Very good. So thank you. Thank you. Now. Did, I'll... Teacher, I have, I have a question. Sorry. Yes, Omar. So in these words, we mentioned, for example, offered. We we need we need mention the letter R and letter D. The that's two right. letters, both. Yes, yes, that's right. Okay. So in this case, we don't pronounce the last, well, the last uh, syllable. So we don't pronounce, we don't pronounce ed. So we don't pronounce offered, offered, offered. We don't pronounce offered or damage, damage it. So we don't pronounce it like that. We pronounce the last sound in present and the letter D. So the last sound or the final sound is offered is letter R in present. Yeah. So, what, so what we do? Uh -huh. First, maybe first mention letter R and avoid letter E and ending in letter D. That's right. Okay. So we we avoid pronouncing letter E. Okay. okay. We yeah. don't pronounce letter E. So we don't say love it or use it. Yeah. So loved, used. Loved. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So thank okay. you. Well, well thank done. You. You're welcome. Well, now we have to continue, guys, because of time. We have to continue with the next, uh, with the next category or the next verbs. So the next sound is a letter T. Okay, the next sound in past is the letter T. So what are the sounds or what are the consonant sounds that we need to listen and use with this, uh, with this, Edgardo? Before a sniffed. Oh, very good. But help me with the ah, consonants. Oh, okay. Yes. Ah, the consonants. Sorry. Uh, P. P uh, I don't remember this word. Uh, P. Uh -huh. P. F. G. H. S. H. C. H. S. S. C. And X. Very good. So as you can see, all of these verbs, the final sound in present of these verbs, so letter P, help, help, look, sniff, okay, love, okay. So all those sounds, all those final sounds that we have in present, okay, we have to use or we have to pronounce it with a letter T, at the end. So in these examples, instead of pronouncing ed, we don't we don't pronounce ed. We pronounce letter T. So instead of saying instead of saying held, we say helped. Helped. Instead of saying uh, let me check, instead of saying washed or washed, we say washed. 
So we pronounce a letter T. Okay, now let's see. Let's continue practicing. Please tell me right now, Henry, what is the pronunciation of this verb in past? Of kiss. Um, yes, in past? Kiss. The past is kissed. Very good. Good pronunciation of the letter T. Kissed. So very good, Henry. Thank you. Let's see now, Jesenia, what is the pronunciation of this verb in past? Dance. Dance. Okay, very good. Just please don't forget to exaggerate the letter T, okay? Danced. Repeat again, you Dance. Dance. Very good, danced. So very good, thank you. As you see, we pronounce, okay, a letter T, okay? Instead of a letter D or ED, we pronounce a letter T. And the last, uh, well, the last sound or the last pronunciation of le of ed, I think it's easier because we only say id, id, okay? So we pronounce e. For what verbs do we pronounce id? Please, right now, help me with this, Rebecca. Read the consonants. The t and d. Very good, and that's it, okay? For the regular verbs that finished in T or D, we pronounce id. So what is the pronunciation of this verb, Alba Castillo? Wanted. Very good, wanted. And what about this verb, Omar? Needed. Needed, very good. So this is kind of easier, right? This is this is the easiest one. So then we have to practice and memorize the pronunciation of letter T. What verbs, uh, the pronunciation of ED is letter T and what verbs, the pronunciation of ED is letter D. So let's practice that. And here we, here we are with a tip, okay? We have a tip over here. So please right now, um, Henry, read about the voiced sound, voiced sound. Okay, voiced sound uses the, the vocal cords and they produce a vibration or human sound in the throat. Touch, touch the throat to feel it. Um, I have a question. Uh, yeah. What I mean, throat. Throat. Guys, what is the throat? throat? This is your throat. throat, okay? This is your ah, throat. Okay. Yes, so this is your throat. Well, let's do an exercise. Based on this comment, based on this tip, we have that some, uh, some letters are voiced or some consonant sounds are voiced and some others are voiceless. Let's, let's practice together, okay? We will do it and this is homework for you guys. Practice at your home this exercise. In class, yes, guys, we can do it, but it's kind of weird, okay? Why? Please, everybody, put your hand on your throat. Put your hand on your throat. And right now, let's, let's make the sound of a letter R in English. Remember, the letter R is R, R, R. So everybody repeat in your house. R, 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 R. Okay, question. Do you feel a vibration in this part? Do you feel a movement in this part? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So those are the voiced sound. When you feel a vibration in this part of your throat, so those are voiced sounds. Let's do the letter M, okay? Mm, 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 okay? Do you feel a, a vibration? Do you feel a movement, Edgardo? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Yes, okay, there is a vibration, okay. So those are the voiced sounds, okay? When you feel a vibration here, so that's a voiced 
sound. As I said, guys, this is weird. Yes, guys, why? Because in an exam, you cannot be like that, okay? In an exam, you can be like, mm, or, okay, you cannot do that in an exam. But when you are at home, you can practice a little bit about the, the pronunciation and the, consonant, the correct consonant sound. Let's try with a voiceless sound, okay? Let's try with a voiceless sound. Let's make the sound of SH. So remember, so to like to make silence, okay? To keep in silence. Everybody put your hand here. Put your hand on your throat and make the sound. Shh. Do you feel a vibration in your throat, Omar? No. No. So those are the voiceless sounds. When you don't feel a vibration, so those are voiceless. Let's let's try it with the letter P. Let's try with the letter P, everybody. Is there a vibration, Yesenia? Yes or no? Is there a movement? <gasps> Yesenia, hello. <laughs> Okay, Alba, is there a, a vibration here with the letter P? No. No. So those are voiceless, as you see. Okay, so practice this at home. As I said, don't do it in an exam. Don't do it in a job interview. Do it at home, okay, for you to practice and, okay, to remember the correct pronunciation of the correct final or of the correct pronunciation of ED. Okay, we have to continue, guys, and um, okay, it's almost time to go, but we are going to have a reading practice. So what is the title of the activity, Rebecca? What is the title of the activity? It's last summer. Very good. As you see, we are talking about something in the past or a memory in the past. So let's read together. First identify verbs in past. Everybody, please look at the reading and tell me what are the verbs in past on the reading. Go ahead. Went. Ah, very good. We have went. Any other? Was. was. Ah, we have was. Let me see. Was. Aha. Uh -huh. Any other? So. Let me see. Oh, where is it? Oh, we saw. I'm sorry. Yes. Any other? Made. Ah, uh, we made. made. Uh huh. Loved. Loved. Good pronunciation. Made. Loved. Any other? Went. Oh, went we have again. went. Went one more time. Okay, so we have went three times. Let's continue. Was. Was. One more time. Enjoyed. Uh, enjoyed. Enjoyed. Very good. So enjoyed. Stayed. 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 Very good. Stayed. Where. Where. Uh, the past of birth to be. So we have two times. Had. Had. Oh, had. Very good. Had again. Tired. Tired. Uh -huh. Tired. Tired. Okay, I will I will write it in a box. Okay, in a box. Tired. Tired. Okay. Any other? Let's see. Loved. Oh, loved, loved. again. Okay, we have loved. Another one. Met. Met. Oh, met. Aha. Uh -huh. Any other? Okay, we have where again. Where. Stayed. And, and we have a stayed again. Well, as you can see, uh, we underline all the verbs in sim in past. Okay, we we underlined all the verb in past, but there is one one word that is not underlined. It's in a box. Why do you think that tired is in a box? Let's see, why, Edgardo, why uh, do you think that because... tired? Oh, Henry, tell me, continue. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, 
I think because tired is not a verb. Ah, tired is not a verb. So what is tired? And an ad adverb? Adverb. And an, an, an adjective. Ah, it's an adjective. adjective. Very good. That's right. No, so tired no, is not a verb. So I I I tired, you tired, we tired, they tired. No, guys, that's not correct, okay? It's not possible. But tired, okay? So yes, we can see we can see that it is an adjective. I am tired, you are tired, we are tired, she is tired. So this is an adjective. Remember, adjectives describes a person or a state of a person, okay? So I am tired, teacher. I, I am happy, teacher. So adjectives, well done. Now we are going to start practicing pronunciation in past and we have we are going to read, okay? Because this is a uh, great, well, this is important for you and for your English. Now let's see, let's pay attention to Alba Castillo. She will be our first volunteer. Okay, Alba. You start in I am Helen and you finish in, ooh, let's see, let's see, English. I am Helen. That summer holiday, I went with my family to Paris. We went by car. There was, um, the, there, were, there was me, my parents, my brother, Tom, and my little sister, Susan. We live in in Brixton and we are English. Okay. Saw... Oh, over there. So English, English. That's fine. Okay. Thank you. Well, you did it great. Great pronunciation. Let's continue right now and let's pay attention to Rebecca. Rebecca, let's continue. Please continue and in we. Okay, you start in we and finish in city. Go ahead. Okay, we saw the most interesting places in Paris as the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre Museum, and we made the city tour. I love it. I love it because Paris is a very beautiful city. Okay, nice job. Thank you. Now let's continue, please. Let's listen to, okay, Omar, help me with our next, oh, help me with our next part. So you start in on the fifth and you finish in, let me see, let me see. Oh, and you finish on four days. Go ahead. Okay, well, on the fifth day, we went to Air Disney that was fantastic we all enjoyed ourselves a lot we stayed in era disney for a days nice yeah thank you for uh, your reading and thank you for pronounce your pronunciation in, uh, of the verb in simple past let's continue now uh, please let's continue right now and listen to and then, and then henry okay let's listen to another boy henry henry right now you start you start in the where and you finish in amusements. Okay. They were they were the most exciting day I had all, all my life. We were all very tired because we had to walk a lot to watch everything and enjoy all the amusement. Very good. All the amusement. So that's really good. Amusement. Very good. Now let's see our last person because we almost finished with a paragraph. Let's see Alma Marroquin. Hear me right now with this part. You start in my sister and you finish in Euro Disney. Go ahead. My sister is only four years old and she loved it amidst um, all the Disney characters and they were very funny. We stayed at Hotel Inside Euro Disney. Pretty good. So thank you for your pronunciation, guys. You did an amazing job. As you can see, okay, we are practicing simple past. Remember, 
to talk about an to talk about memories to talk about finish actions we use simple simple past did the summer finish edgardo did the summer finish in that memory in that story did summer finish <gasps> edgardo yes or no what do you think did the last summer finish I don't know. You don't know. Let's see. Omar, what do you think? Did the summer finish? Yes. Yes, okay, of course. Remember, all the seasons yeah. finish, okay? All the seasons finish. So that trip they had, okay, the trip they had to Paris also finished. So they, they don't live in, they don't live in, in Paris. They say they live in Brighton, okay? So they live in Brighton. They don't live in Paris. So their trip to Paris finished. And they yeah. start, they, they were talking about their trip to, to Paris. Yes, Omar? Yeah, the summer ends because in the first line, she talking last summer holidays. That's right. So she's talking about last summer, not in present. Yeah but in past. So let's check. Right now, do we have regular verbs in this in this story? ED verbs, yes or no? Thank you, yes, we have. Yes. Do, do we have irregular verbs in this story? Yes. Yes. Yes, so we have different irregular verbs. For example, we have met, we have had, we had, no has, had, we have, um, went. Where, so, so, went, went, okay, as you see, we have different ir irregular verbs. Made. So, oh, repeat again, Rebecca. Meet. Ah, we met. Oh, this one, met. Made. Ah, made. I'm sorry. Yes, we also have made. made. So, very good. As you see, we have different verbs. Okay? So, why we didn't stop too much in irregular verbs? Because that's more about learning by heart. Okay? You have to memorize irregular verbs. And I know, well, you show me in this class that you, that you, that you work very well with simple past so continue practicing simple past uh, because of the time guys we will not um we won't do this act give me a second okay we won't study used to because of time because time is well the class is almost over so we didn't study this but you will see it on the presentation and also you can check the use of used to in um in the platform okay I will try to explain this to, well, tomorrow, no. On Monday, I will try to explain this on Monday for you to uh, to understand better the use of used to. And also this practice, you can do it at home because you will have the presentation. You only have to click on the word practice time and you will be able to, uh, to do the activity, okay? Or to uh, go to the activity that we have. So, just before we go, let's check the homework. Please work on the on the platform and complete the following activities. Uh, remember to continue. Uh, remember continue working on your platform and uh, complete activity 2.0, 2.1, which is vocabulary, 2.1.2, that which is grammar, simple past, then uh, 2.1.3, 2.1. Sorry, 2.2 and 2.2.1. Remember the, um, the activities that we have to be really, uh, th that we need to focus more is 2.1, 2.1.2, which is vocabulary and grammar. Then you have to practice what we learn. Okay, everybody? So please continue practice on the platform. 
do these activities and uh well i hope to see you on monday it was a pleasure to uh, to help you in today's class it was really long i guess but uh, i i guess you are doing an amazing job so please practice at home i hope to see you on monday and have a good night and a good weekend okay bye bye thank you you're welcome see you next good week night, good, night. good night